When you look at the recent <clears throat> publications, the abstracts that have come out with, uh, in terms of ivermectin and cancer, one of the most important ones was ivermectin turns cold tumors hot. What do they mean by that? What they meant was then when they did a mouse model of ivermectin dosed orally, and they combined it with a checkpoint inhibitor, in this case, BioX cell therapeutics checkpoint inhibitor, which would imitate something like a Keytruda or an Optivo in, the, in human applications. What they found was that the combination of ivermectin orally mm -hmm. with a checkpoint inhibitor caused a complete response in remission in 40% of the tumors in the mice. So that's oral. And we know that an oral drug is getting distributed throughout the body. So its effect of being introduced into a tumor environment is very minimal. So now we said, well, if the ivermectin that's getting into the tumor environment is minimal and we're seeing a 40% complete response in the mouse model, right. what could we then hope to achieve by introducing ivermectin in our solubilized form directly into this tumor? So we hypothesize that we'll get something close to we hope 100% complete response in a mouse model. And then to translate that into the human environment by combining it with the checkpoint inhibitors that have already been approved for human use. 